Today on Review Time with Tim, we got Nong Shim Bowl Noodle Soup, hot and spicy flavor. You can also check out my playlist page where I have over 30 plus ramen noodle style or ramen noodle reviews. All right, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into today's hopefully tasty noodley review. All right, so uh, the other day I was in the grocery store and I came across this Nong Shim Bowl Noodle Soup Hot and Spicy Flavor right here. Check that out. It says it's ready in three minutes, so we shall see about that. And it is a BPA free plastic bowl. Okay, so we got the plastic bowl, which sometimes eh, it can be hit or miss, um, just on the the texture and how much you have to, how much actually gets put in there. Sometimes I just prefer just the packaging and nothing else. But for convenience factor, for a lunch, taking it on the go, the bowl is ideal. Uh, I will be following the instructions to the T on this. So here's that right there. The instructions are right there. So there you have it. I will be following those. All right. So, yeah. All right. Let's take this out first. All right. Here's the bowl. Okay. A basic cover. A drum so to say, and the plus bowl, and a little shake, 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 all right, and it's also, if you lose this, there's instructions on this as well, all right, let's do it up, okay, so before I put all the water in and pop it in there, okay, we got one seasoning packet, and then of course, What's inside? We have a round style ramen brick. There we go, round style. With a few extra trimmings in the bottom. Kind of weak, I'll be honest. The extra dr freeze dried goodies is kind of on the weak side. I mean, look, at, that's it. There's not a whole lot of extra freeze dried goodness. I think they could do better considering this is a little bit more on the pricier side compared to the other ramen noodles. So come on, we can do better than that. Look at that's just you can add a little more freeze dried goodies in there, I guess. Yeah. Now the uh, seasoning packet here, we're coming in with a granular brown slash orangey color. All right. I don't want to spill it because I don't want to ruin my flavor, but the lighting's not the best today. All right, let's see if I can get that. All right, and uh, that hint of that soy saucy type smell is kind of coming through on this with that spice and everything nice. All right, so here it is. Three minutes in the microwave. So we can see all the colors from the seasoning packet, and it is still currently looking like a nice round brick. Uh, now, inside, okay, now it does say to fill the water to the line, and there is a line marker right there on the packaging. Uh, whereas I did a previous packaged noodle review, and it said, do not fill it to that line, even though they put it in there. So that's kind of confusing. And I had to add to get a measuring cup and put in the, get a measuring cup and put in the correct amount. So this one says, fill it to the line. All right. And finally, finally, I got some chopsticks from my local restaurant. They had them in supply. So I grabbed quite a few of these because 
personally, it's the best way to eat ramen noodles. <laughs> All right, so here we have it. Now, three minutes in the microwave. Uh, the bowl, as you can see, I'm holding the bowl. It is warm to the touch. A little hot on the top, but on the bottom, I'm having no problem holding this. But then again, everybody's heat tolerance is going to be different. So just keep that in mind. But as for right now, three minutes, definitely a little warmish on this side. But on the bottom, because it's got a nice thick ridge here, is able to do that. All right, so poking in and stirring up the noodles. I can kind of feel like they're might be not quite cooked just by the feel of the chopsticks going in the noodle bowl. It just feels like it's a little bit on the dense side right now, uh, but we shall see. Now that I've started stirring up the noodles, the bowl has become much hotter, and I've actually now had to move my hand to the side upper part. All right, I'm just gonna mix this in. All right, look at that. There's the noodle pole. I mean, look at that. That looks so nice, right? Doesn't this look nice? And the... Mmm. It does smell fantastic. My mouth is watering now. Yes, very good smell of like that soy sauce type of material that they put in here oh look at that look at this ramen pole oh, that is nice now what's interesting on the labeling because i'm trying to dive into that a little bit there look at all that so many ingredients listed um yeah but it does list fish on here next to the soy, which that soy sauce smell definitely coming through. Uh, but then there's also a fish on there uh, manufactured in a facility that produces crustine shellfish, eggs, peanut milk, and pe tree peanuts. So be mindful of that. All right, let's, let's get into this test taste test now. Enough of this chit chatter. Let's... Oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. God dang it. All right, let's... All right, here we go. What the moment everybody has been waiting for. Okay. Not super spicy. Not at all. There is spice to it, but not a whole lot. Just a light, light, a little bit on my lips, and a little bit on the roof of my mouth. I can feel a little slight tingle there, but it is extremely light on the spicy. Surprisingly, originally I thought the noodles were going to be a little bit on the firmer side, uh, but after removing it from the microwave, I will say I probably waited a good two to three minutes with obviously stirring the noodles. Uh, so the noodles so far were done just right. Not too soft, not too hard, right in the middle. Let's take another taste test here. The noodles do have a slightly stranger texture to them. I almost feel like it's not grainy, but I want to say grainy texture. It's just something slightly different about these noodles that are being used. Something a little weird on that. Just 
something slightly different on how they make this bowl of noodle. Tasty, simple, easy, not too spicy, and very convenient for lunchtime. Uh, because of all of that added in, I'm going to hit this one with a 6 out of 10 for today. So there you have it, folks. 6 out of 10 for the Nong Shim Spicy Bowl of Noodle Soup.